Hello, Biotube. So I was making a video with tech when I realized. Unfortunately, these blast effects affected Victory Leo shoulder cannons and cracked one of them, likely due to expanding and contracting. I didn't really have them in a place that was extremely hot or cold. They've been in room temperature with no sunlight, so it is a little strange. Of course, it's a very simple break. So all I needed is a little super glue. So it's not the worst thing imaginable, but it's just something I wanted you to be aware of. Because it surprised me. Some other common problems uh, for Victory Leo are scratches on the chrome. Don't know how to fix that. And the way the flap that covers his face is designed, it causes paint wear. But I also found this flash on Star Saber's foot very interesting. I'm sure you could just cut it off, but I'm going to leave it there. In California. My missing link, Optimus, is... Hopefully he'll be here soon. I've already seen quite a few reviews on him, but I still think I have something different to say, especially since the original toy is my favorite toy of all time. Speaking of Optimus, there will be some retro figures revealed at Walmart CollectorCon on Pi Day, March 14th. It will probably be the other rumored figures revealed, not Optimus himself. Also, they finally released Hound, but with a painted blue windshield. And I have to say, the windshield doesn't look great on Sunstreaker. In robot mode, Wheeljack looks boxier than he should. Other than that, they're not too bad. I guess today is Pokemon Day, so I should have some Pokemon content coming soon. Imagine being. Links below.